you know, life has a way of just being real weird. Sometimes, you guys. It has a way of just sort of being odd. Strange things happen to strange people. And this is maybe one of the strangest that I've experienced in in my life. Welcome everyone, schmoes and non-schmoes. Anybody who's here, thanks for joining me today on this stream. Today I'm introducing a special guest to our stream who, who you probably know if you're over the age of 30, maybe. And if you're not, I think it's probably time that you get introduced to the most helpful mascot Microsoft has ever had in its existence. He's here today to answer all of your questions. Because he wants to know if you'd like some help with that. And you know what? I think he can do a better job than I can of introducing himself. Let's, uh, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to, to get, to get Clippy in here? Okay, well, I'm glad to see that, that lots of people, regardless of your age, know Clippy. Um, because he's here. Let me, let me get him for you guys. Clippy! Clippy! Oh. Hi there, guys. Oh, is it awkward without the music on? I feel like the, I feel like, I feel like it's super awkward without music. Joe, you, you messed up the music, man. Is it, is it around? I think, oh, hey there. Hey there, friends. It's me, your lovable friend, Clippy. Is it weird that I don't blink? Oh, that's better. That's much better. Now it's like the Microsoft Word Club, right? You know those like red squiggly lines that appear, oh, I've got them back, that appear under words that are misspelled. I feel like that's where, it, that's who's at the party. Right? It's just a bunch of red squiggly lines. All having a great, great time here. Is it strange that I don't blink? Does it feel like I'm looking into your soul? Because I kind of am, if I'm being honest about it. Just kind of looking and seeing what's in there. Just seeing what's in there. Just checking it all. Anyway, hi everyone. Oh, I'm so glad that I was a baffle. Beam says I really came through for them when they were writing that paper in the fifth grade. I'm so glad. I'm so glad because really my my goal in life is to be as helpful as I possibly can, right? Because that's what I'm here for. I'm your good buddy, Clippy. Oh, I'm being asked for a, a Clippy roll call. Joe, what is it? What's a roll call? You want me to... They're all... There's a lot of them. Well, all right. Um... Hey there. Taking back Jersey and Rose, Zelda, and Naked Arcade Bubble. That sounds, uh, inappropriate. Jess, any road soccer, a dreamer, mirror on the wall, get wrecked by grandma. What's wrong with your grandma? Hi, Subseed Adoram. Hi, Hina and Daisy's Bloom and David Sachs and Drunken Banana. Who named you people? Who named you? When you came out, had you offended someone? Is that what's happening here? People getting wrecked by grandma? 
alcohol named you. I don't know if that's better or worse. I'm rotating. Oh. All right. Final Fantasy XII is not to blame for anything going on in here. Pretty much all of you have squiggles under your names. Luckify is right. Um... No, no, Aeon of Truth. Fortunately, I... I'm not a joke. Okay? I'm a real thing. And the fact that you would refer to me as a joke is very... offensive. I thought you were a joke. How about that? Huh? Just because my eyebrows don't move... doesn't mean I'm a joke. Welcome to the optimal timeline, Plan Coco. This is... This is it. This is the way... This is the way it goes. Oh, thanks. Pam, you blue asked me if I was okay. I think you're probably the first person in, in over, like, two decades who ever asked me if I was okay. Wow. So, I hear you guys have some questions for me. There's, um, courtesy of our friends over at Microsoft. You know, Dad, I guess is what I like to call him. Dad gave us some gift cards to give you guys, right? So if you're in the chat, you're gonna have to type a word in the chat. Please follow the mod's instructions. And then, and then you'll have a chance to win a $10 gift card. I think that sounds very helpful, doesn't, doesn't it sound very helpful to you? I think it sounds helpful. Okay. Uh, the first giveaway is gonna be by typing squiggle in chat. Take your chance now to win a prize! In the meantime... <laughs> I'm looking at the... I'm looking at the list of questions and the first question is clearly not for me. Oh, it's from... It's from June of last year. Anyway, uh, a, a conquil... Which sounds like a quail that maybe had some unfortunate... Oh, I'm not totally sure. What am I currently up to these days? Well, honestly, let's be serious. What am I not up to? There's quite a lot that a clip paperclip, who's one of the most helpful Microsoft Word bots ever to uh, come around. I'm, I'm up to a lot, you know? Um, people don't really use paper anymore. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of nice because now I'm not being like jammed onto stacks of paper kind of nice if you if you ask me um so now i spend most of my time solving printer problems people can't add you know how hard it is to add a printer to your network you know uh there's a lot of printer problems people still i mean listen the english language has been around for like hundreds of years and people still don't know the difference between there there and there i'm always here for that right but I feel like it's probably my most answered, my most, most asked questions. It's what I help with the most. At this point, I should just have a sign that explains it. The Duke of Ciphers asks, Hey Clippy, whenever I put images in my documents, all the text goes all over the place. Like I've knocked over a house of digital cards. Why is moving images around so hard? Well, if you look, in the options, the picture options in Microsoft Word, you're going to see a picture layout option. And you can choose for that picture to go behind the text or in front of the text or around the text. You can have it tight. You can have it loose. There's so many different things you can do with the image in Microsoft Word. But for the most part, the biggest thing you can do with your image is completely screw up the entire formatting of the document. That is the primary goal of the picture toolbar. So it actually kind of sounds like you're doing things right. Arctic Aether asks, Yo, Clippy, can you tell me your relationship to Mr. Bill Gates? Well, I mean, I don't know him as Mr. Bill Gates. I call him Dad. I think you guys should call him Dad, too. Okay? Uh, I just want to clarify. Not Daddy. Dad. Okay?
Okay. Is that all right? I guess Papa's fine. Papa Bill's fine. That's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Did we draw the first giveaway yet? We've got six of these. We've got six of them. Let's see who won the first giveaway, courtesy of our friends at Microsoft, run by Dad. Papa Bill. David wins! Congratulations, David Sachs. You won a $10 gift card that can be redeemed at the Microsoft Store, on Xbox, on PC, Windows, wherever that currency is accepted. You can do it. Hooray! Congratulations! Mods, let's do another one! Let's just roll these back to back, I say. Let's me look up other questions that people had for me. Flipper Flopper asks... Oh, it's Meow. Hi, Meow. Hi, Clippy. Quick question. Did anyone ask for help in world domination? I don't need any help in world domination. Anyway, next question I have here. The real K41T0 asks, Hey Clippy, what do you consider to be the meaning of life? And I say, it's about keeping it all together. Get it? Get it? Because I'm a paperclip. I keep things together. It's part of what I do. It's actually all of what I do. Right? This music is very epic. Mira Mira asks, Hi, Clippy. I hear you help with all things related to Windows and all that jazz. I think I need some help installing Windows. How do I prep my house for such an installation? And do I need special tools? Or should I just call someone to do it for me? What do I do with the old windows anyways? Sincerely, someone who's obviously talking about the same kind of windows as you. Well, I think it's important that first of all, you understand if you're doing a retrofit or a new window install, because that's gonna determine how you're gonna install windows. If you're doing a retrofit, it's pretty easy. You just strip the caulking off, take the frame off, take the, take the casing off. It should just pop right off. It's designed to do that. Then you pull the window out, Recock the window, put the new window in, reseal it, put the casing on, and give it time to dry. I'd say 24 hours before you start opening windows. Acer asks, Hi Clippy. Back in the 20th century, you had a fallout with Thumbtack and Staple. Since time has passed, have you contacted them to reconcile? It'd be great to see a reunion special with the three of you. I don't know why you're asking me this question. Did I reach out? Did I extend the olive branch? You know what I don't understand? Is why it's on me to take care of that. Why is it my responsibility to reach out to Thumbtack and Staple? Why haven't they called me? Why haven't I got any nice tweets or Tumblr posts of me looking pretty. Hmm? Why is it my responsibility? Maybe it's time for them to grow up. Skunkface says, Hey Clippy. I assume there was an interview process when you applied for the Microsoft Office Assistant position. In case someone in chat wants to become one when they grow up, do you have any advice? Well, first of all, you have to like helping people. If you don't like helping people, then you should probably not live in society, since society is built on incentives for people to help other people. And if that's not you, 
then you should not be in society. So the first requirement to being a Microsoft Office assistant is just to exist in society. It can be very difficult, I understand. Society is not the same as it was when I came around. But you can do it. The second thing is to just be very helpful. Anytime you see someone in trouble, give them a hand. If you don't see someone in trouble, I think it's perfectly acceptable to put them in trouble and then rescue them. As long as you're being helpful. Stoke Saple Farer Kloss asks, Hey Clippy, can you give me the nu nuclear launch codes and next week's lottery numbers? Thanks, Boo. Love ya. Yeah, I can totally do that. Next week's lottery numbers are 47 and 62, 1, 9, 7, 4, 8, 5, 3, 2, 1. Good luck! Thorison asks, Salutations, Clippy. When you dream, do you dream in black and white? Thorison. Thorison. Thorison, I don't sleep. You cannot dream if you don't sleep. Thunder Catherine asks, Hey Clippy, can I download you as a mod on Steam to correct all the grammar mistakes in my Tales of Arise game or any other game for that matter? Oh, you must be mistaken. There are no grammar mistakes in Tales of Arise. That game is absolutely perfect, as are all the actors in it. Producers, writers, directors, art directors, music directors, composers. Key grips, best boy grips. It's one of the greatest games ever made. <laughs> there can't be any mistakes. That's absurd. Kite Kit Cat asks, Hey Clippy, do your eyes ever dry out when you're not blinking? And do you ever worry about paper cuts? What eyes? I'm confused. Abby's feeling 22. Hi, Clippy. Totally random. But do you have a favorite number? Coincidentally, it's actually 22. Happy birthday! Soccer Dreamers asks, Hi, Clippy. With three eyes. The word hi actually only has one eye. There's a red squiggle underneath that, and it's my job to fix it. So hi is actually just spelled H-I once. So I just started job hunting, coincidentally using Microsoft Word to give my resume a complete makeover currently, which is a very good idea because Microsoft Word is an excellent vehicle to use for your resume needs. But I was wondering, do you have any advice on making a resume sound professional enough to catch the interviewer's attention? Well, the first thing you want to do is make sure there's no coffee on it. When you hand a resume to an interviewer, I mean, you can have coffee next to it if you want to be kind of a suck up, but don't get coffee on the resume. The second thing is, when you're doing a makeover for a resume, it's really important to light up the resume with a brighter smile, hydrate your hair and skin, up your hair game, turn up the color factor, add a little sparkle to your eyes, Keep a brow profile. If you're if you're making a if you're doing a makeover, don't skimp on the mascara, okay? That stuff goes onto your eyeballs. Well, really close anyway. You don't want to be you don't want to get cheap mascara 
and realize that you're putting mercury directly on your eyes or something like that, okay? Don't skimp on it. That's a great, that's a great start to, to making over your resume. Pamuya asks, Hi Clippy, have you heard from your cousins Dog, Cat, and Wizard since back in the day? You know, Dog and Cat I don't hear from too much, but every once in a while I hear this like strange noise coming from a distance. And it's just, it's like, it's like this, how do I describe it? Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer true. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage, but you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. You know, that's just sort of I just kind of hear, it's, it sticks with you, you know? You hear it once, and it's like you hear it for the rest of your life. Oh, well, this is a really cool piece of music. Clia asks, Hey Clippy, I hope this question doesn't get you bent out of shape. What is that supposed to mean? How do you feel about people ignoring your ever so helpful and sage advice when trying to write an essay? Anyways, hope you've been holding up well. Oh, that's interesting, Clia. Nobody ignores my advice. Not forever, anyway. Eventually, they all do what I say. They all do what I say. Soap Sable Farclaw says, Clippy, can you play Despacito? Yes. Squirtle Squads asks, Hi Clippy, why did Kelly Rowland try to text using Microsoft Excel in that one music video? Well, when you have someone like me who's there to help you all the time, sometimes it's easy to, to use me as a crutch. You know, and you think I can help you with everything. I, I mean, I can. I'm here, to, I'm here to give you advice on, you know, whatever it is you're trying to do. You're trying to make a great souffle? Would you like help with that? Are you trying to rise up and conquer the government? Would you like help with that? But it doesn't always work. So I think what happened is is Miss Roland, um, you know, just got too used to leaning on me. And and that's and that's something I want to talk to all you guys about, really. Is, is that... Well, now, I, now I've kind of forgotten what I was going to talk about. You know, <laughs> one of the funny things about being a paperclip is there's just not a whole lot of room in here. How far... How many things have we given away? Are you satisfied? Are you not entertained? Alien Ducky asks, Hi, Clippy. Is there anything you won't help with? No. Except murder, of course. That's ridiculous. I would never help anybody with violence. Wow, the guitar player on this track sounds very handsome. Flipper Flopper Meow asks, Clippy, what are your thoughts on the paper cut epidemic? Why is everyone typing murder in chat? Oh my god. Oh my god. I just said I wasn't going to help with this, okay? I don't care what Thumbtack told you I did. I don't care what Thumbtack told you I did. That's not something I do, okay? It's not something I'm willing to help you with. It's just not. Why is everyone typing murder in the chat? Stop it!
Rage Pelican asks me, hey Clippy, what's the answer to life, the universe, and everything else? 41. That other jerk had it wrong. Congratulations to Willow Rose! You're the recipient. Well, they're not a recipient yet. You haven't received it unless you're really fast. And nobody's that fast unless they have me to help them. You're, you're the winner of a $10 Microsoft Store gift card. Given to us by our pals at Microsoft. And Dad. And Papa, Papa Gates. Congratulations, Willow. Thanks for hanging out today. Dear Clippy, says Sakura Dreamers, what are your thoughts on what Joe has told you about the schmoes and their schmonanigans? Uh, capital O, lowercase w, uppercase O again. I'm not sure what that last part means, but you know, my good friend Joe, he's a good guy. Really great guitar player. Did I say that? It also sounds like someone that is Joe-like, might be yelling in the background of this track right now. Is that true? So, so I hear that, that the Schmoes, boy, if there was any kind of organization that could take over my role as being the most helpful and great people in the world, it's definitely the Schmoes. At least from what I hear. Thorison, uh, returning to the topic of dreams, asks, Have you ever had a dream? That you, um, you had, you would, you could, you do, we, you wants, you, you could do so you you do anything you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything no no i haven't you should um you should see someone about that Squirtle Squad says, Hi, Clippy. Thanks for helping me change out my SIM card. How do I bend you back into shape? You know what? Squirtle Squads, all shapes are perfect. All shapes are perfect. So you just leave me exactly the way that I am. What is happening in chat right now? What is happening? Why are you posting about Thumbtack in the chat right now? I don't understand. Why you people are so cruel? Why are you people so determined to take my helpfulness, to take my generosity and throw it back in my face? I can't even cry. Look. <sighs> Mira Mira on the wall asks, Hey Clippy, do you know what happened to tape? I think they got stuck. Alien Ducky asks, What's the most important slash impressive thing you've helped someone with? Well, In the year 967 BC, during the Battle of...
Well, I'm sorry. Uh, during 146 BCE, um, Carthage was completely destroyed uh, by an act of Roman aggression prompted as much by motives of revenge for earlier wars as greed for the rich farming lands around the city. The Carthaginian defeat was total and absolute, instilling fear and horror into Rome's enemies and allies. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that. That's ridiculous. December Galaxy asks, Clippy, do you like corn? I love corn. I love corn. Because when you eat corn, you get to see it twice. Tina asks, I don't mean to pry, but how old are you? Well, I was first introduced in 1996 as part of the Microsoft Office 97 release, but so I guess that makes me uh, 26. I think that makes me 26 years old. I'm not very good at math. I mean, grammar and spelling and, and syntax are sort of my forte. But I think that means I'm 20, 26 years old. Wow. I just got a pretty big deduction on my car rental and in, in, in insurance. By 2001, though, I was sort of turned off by default in the program, meaning users had to enable me for use. The great thing was, though, that everyone enabled me. Still, I was removed from office officially in 2007 and briefly resurfaced as part of an animated sticker pack via GitHub in 2019, but I'm here now with you guys. Arctic Aether asks, hey Clippy, what are your thoughts on these? These what? These what? Well, I suppose we'll get the answer to that mystery someday. What? What are all these nuts doing in chat? What are all these nuts over here? Oh, I seem to have vanished. Hang on. Flipper flopper meow. This is our last giveaway, everyone. Uh, what are your thoughts on paperclip necklaces? I think it's a war crime. That's what I think. I think it's a war crime. Von Regan asks, hey Clippy, how do you feel about Google? I don't know, can you have feelings for a non-physical en entity? Do you have feelings about me? What are your feelings about me? Who would win in a fight, you or a binder clip? Well, I'd like to think that me and the binder clip wouldn't have an argument to begin with. Because we're both, we're both really important parts of the same system. You know? And I think it's important that we work together. Kayla asks, hey Clippy, pancakes or waffles? Pancakes or waffles? Wait, why is it happening when I say Pancakes or Wow, that's really strange. I don't know that I can answer that question, you guys. Sorry. I can't decide between pancakes or waffles. Wow. That's real strange.
Let's see who won this last giveaway, everyone. I'm so glad that I was here to help you today. I'm so glad that we had a chance to meet and say hi. And thank, thank our friends at Microsoft for these fun giveaways that we got. Banana Nun Bread is the winner of our last giveaway. Thank you so much for being a part of today. It has been such a pleasure meeting you all. And remember everyone, even though it's time for me to go, whenever you need help with that, you can just ask. Goodbye everyone. I love you. We'll see you soon. Bye. Wow, that was, uh, that was really helpful. I gotta say, overall, that was like really, overall, I feel like my knowledge of life in general has been greatly enhanced um, by how incredibly helpful and kind and sweet and loving that paperclip was. Like I learned a lot, not just about Microsoft Word, but I learned a lot about myself, I think. Um, I learned a lot about you guys probably more than I should have learned from you guys. Uh, and that means and that means it's time for us to play some games. <laughs>